it's me Shondell, the creator of the craft print and i am finally back and today i'm gonna show you guys how i made these wine bottle gift tags also you're looking at a picture because i forgot to record a video of the actual product so let's just get into it getting our SVG file you guys see it here for two dollars and I'm going to have it linked at the bottom in the description now obviously you're gonna add to cart and purchase then once you download it we're going in design space and I'm gonna walk you through the steps to uploading it how to change your lines to score and then we're going to cut and assemble so you're going to go to your uploads right here on the left side, click on uploads. You're going to go to upload image and then browse. And you're going to search for that SVG file that you just downloaded. It should be at the top of your download. It's not at the top of mine because I just, I didn't just download it. It's been here for a little while. So I'm going to select that file. Then I'm going to go to open down here in the bottom right. And this is how it comes in in design space because it's already an SVG. You're not going to go to the space where you have to edit anything. You can change the name here if you want to change the name and tags, which are optional. But these are the tags that when you're searching all of your uploads, you'll find this under. So if you want to do wine, um, bottle, different things like that, then you're going to click on upload. And then it goes here to all of your uploads. You're going to select it. Come back at the bottom, right? And then you're going to add to canvas. Okay, so now that we're here, this is the size we want it to be. The first thing you're going to do is ungroup it. So at the top right up here, you see these two squares together, that's ungroup. You also have the option to right click and ungroup there. Now, do not move anything. Do not touch anything. You're going to be very careful when we're doing this part because we don't want to move the lines. So first you're going to click this square right here and just move it to the side. That's for our acetate sheet to do the little window. Now we have this here, right here. Now you see I'm on both. These are all the pieces that were ungrouped. I said both. Right here you see all of these lines. That's all of those lines here. They came in as a cut file. If you look at the top left where it says operation right here, it says basic cut. So your machine is going to cut those lines and we don't want that. You're going to hit the down button. You're going to come down here and choose score. Now you're going to use your scoring stylus. If you're using a maker, you can switch to the scoring wheel. Now what you're going to do is highlight all of this. Don't move anything. Don't move anything. We want those lines to stay right there. And then you're going to come down to the bottom right and click attach. Now what attach does, it's telling the machine to cut on this paper and then score the lines on the paper. If you do not attach, it's going to send your score lines to a separate mat and then this cut file to a separate mat instead of doing them together. Now here you're going to click on save because you don't want to lose your stuff or have to do this all over again. Then you're going to save your project under whatever name you want to save this as so you could come back to it all the time. Then once you do that, choose the machine that you're using right here out of all the machines. We're using the Cricut Maker 3. Then you're going to click on make. Now this is sending it to the machine. You see we have our separate mats. On this mat is telling it to load that cardstock and score those lines. Then we're going to click on continue and that should send it to your machine. Sometimes it takes its time and I, I just got to double check, make sure I have my machine on because sometimes I don't, but it's on. Hallelujah. So for your cardstock, it depends on the cardstock you're using. I usually use regular 65 pound cardstock and when I'm using 65 pound cardstock, I cut on 80 pound setting. If I'm using something thicker, like a hundred pound cardstock, I usually click on poster board. So anything heavier um, than like 85 pounds with cardstock, I use poster board. Now for your acetate sheet, I'm going to link it because we have acetate sheet in my, on my website, thecraftprintshop.com. I use the craft board setting for the acetate sheet. So we're going to send these to the machine have them cut, bring them over to the table, and then we're going to assemble. 
had to speed it up real quick. You know, we only need to see the cutting part. So now that we have all of our pieces, you have your cardstock that was cut and scored, and then we have our acetate sheet. So all of those score parts, you're just going to fold them. If you want like a sharp blunt fold, you can use a folding bone or anything straight edged and just press down on the parts that you folded. Now with the acetate sheet, I'm just lining it up for you to see it fit exactly in the window. So you're going to peel off that first layer of that protective sheet. Then we're going to use a double sided tape from Amazon. I'll link that also to put your acetate sheet on. You don't want to really use hot glue because sometimes it'll like harden up when it dries and then your acetate sheet will pop right off. So you're going to place it on once you put all of your double sided tape sheets down and then you can peel off the protective tape on that other side. Again, the acetate sheets you can find on the craftprintshop.com also along with the SVG file, some glitter cardstock, metallic, and your adhesive foam squares. So now we're gonna use a double-sided tape again on that little fold right next to the window. That's how you close up the box. Also, we're going to use it on the bottom half of the box. You don't have to, but I prefer to put it on that bottom half just to make sure that it's secure especially if you wanna put something a little bit heavy. Then try to avoid doing what I just did, which was getting that tape stuck to our window because we took the protective tape off and it's a clear window and you want it as clean as possible, especially if you're selling this to a customer, you wanna give them the best product possible. Now, as for that bottom half, now I'm gonna put the sheet on and then we're going to put the box together, which is real easy. And that's another reason why I love this project so much. I love projects that don't take too long, especially if you're selling, because just think about if you have an order for maybe 25, 30 of a uh, product, and then you have to put all that together, when it's not that much work, it goes by really fast. So I started peeling it off, I got ahead of myself. Don't peel that one off first, do the side first. You're going to peel it off. If you're peeling and it seems like it's not is like completely coming off, just press down a little bit harder. You wanna line up the box before you press the tape down because this tape is really good and it's gonna stick. So I just fold it and press it down a little more and that's it. See how simple this is? Peel that other piece off. You're going to close it up. I put my hand in through the top just to help like press it down right there. See that? And that's it. That is it. The top piece I don't obviously um, stick together because you're going to put whatever you want in there. You could put donuts, the Ferrero Rochers, candies, whatever. It's cute. And then hang it on a wine bottle. Now, we also have with a different window. Um, you can get that file on the website too. We also have the rectangle shape and we have them without the window. So I have the square ones also without the window as well if you would prefer that too. And for those who we'll just fully decorate it. So this is how you would decorate this. I have the design space project for you guys. If you wanna make the same exact design, I'll link it down in the um, description as well. You can go straight into design space and cut those pieces for yourself. And if you're not into like all that fully decorating stuff, go buy some stickers from like Michaels. I found these two packs at Michaels and you just take them off. They have like a little foam sheet behind them too and then stick them on the box and you can fully decorate it. Or if you don't want full decorations, you can put vinyl and put the name in the middle or even make a sticker and place it in the middle. There's so many options and this is a very popular product right now. So for gifting and for selling, it's perfect. So if you make one, don't forget to tag me, the craft print. I love to see you guys make things also. This one is another one. It's really cute. It's little envelopes and you can just line it along the bottom. It's solely up to you. But I would say if you're selling these, people do want them just blank, but also people like to see something a little different. So decorate them, make different things, sell them and have a good time. So I'm finally back y'all. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, what other videos you want to see, because I will be doing weekly tutorials here. So also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Okay, I love you guys.